Hi fellas, Frankie Day back again on YouTube. Uh, today on YouTube I have update number six on Warren Blanche's 20th Century U.S. Aircraft group build. Uh, I should have this thing done by tomorrow. Uh, right now I'm letting uh, little paints dry, I'll let my decals dry before I proceed any further. Uh, all that's left on the build, I should have the build done probably by tomorrow. And uh, all there's do on it is tank the props, install the same, uh, give the aircraft a, a good couple coats of good wash, a black wash on it, bring up the highlight and the details, so let that dry. After let that dry, just go ahead and give it a coat of dull coat. Uh, it's already got a, a good coat of Cryvon Clear, which comes in a spray can. You can find those at your local Aces, Lowell's, or Myers, Walmart, hardware stores, uh, and such. It comes in aerosol cans. It's uh, I highly recommend this stuff. This stuff is a bit, it's called magic in a can. If any of you guys ever adventure in building a stick of tissue models out of balsa wood, we cover your tissue instead of using the aerogloss dope, which is traditionally used on that type of uh, build. Uh, it's superseded by using Krylon Clear. So, like I said, when you take your tissue when you cover your your balsa stringers on your fuselage or stabilizer, rudder, or wings. And that needs to be covered. After it's after it shrinks dry, you go ahead and spray a coat of that Clylon Clear on it. Cause it's new, it'll keep that luster for years, and it won't shrink and, and turn your your wing into a propeller. Okay, that's just a tip right there, fellas. I'm going back to the build. Uh, old Puff Magic Dragon, she's coming to an end. So tomorrow I shall have her done. Uh, but like I said uh, in early in, in presenting this video. Uh, I got to just do the props and give it a wash and apply the transparency. She's done, and uh, right now she's uh, about 99 and nine tenths, probably a little more than that finished. Almost 100 percent right now, guys. So right now I'd like to be able to uh, turn it over and show it to you guys. Before I do that, I'd like to thank everybody out there for your wonderful. Comments on uh, upgrade uh, up uh, date rebuild report number five, and uh, and the rest of them that you've uh, commented on. And uh, I looked at uh, Penzerman Bill, Mr. Bill. That's a beautiful A4D Skyhawk, buddy. You did her justice. That old scooter is justice. I bought the same kit the other day. I went I went down to Hobby Shop. I think I paid him a small handsome sum of. I think I paid eight dollars for it. Precisely eight bucks. It was a mark for twelve bucks, but I got I got a discount on it for my PNS. So that's kind of a break I get out of the hobby shop, and uh, so I got that uh, in my stash right now for bills coming up later on. Okay, boys, here she is right here. So I put Lady Susan later on top of a styrofoam box. I'll zoom in a little bit and take a look at her. As you can see, I got the black undersized painted already, and I got the de-icer boots on the top wings, the meat, uh, which are paint airbrushed on there. Uh, made it pretty easy, fellas. <laughs> I only had the mass top surface of the uh, of the stabilizer and wings for the de-icer boots, also the fin. That was about it. The underside is all black. I had to swing around. I took the tissue out of there, and uh, you can t you view carefully. You can see the uh, the blast uh, the blast blankets. On there, I guess the kit gives you a nice little boarding ladder. Uh, the transparency is what done last, fellas. So I got it right now. I'll let her dry. I got the decals on there. And once the decals are dry, I'll go and give a good wash of black on it and uh, do a touch of painting. And, and lastly, it will be uh, aluminum propellers and uh, transparency. She's good to go, fellas. And we'll go on something else. And I'll pick her up gently, gingerly, very gingerly. I should be wearing my plastic gloves. Shame on me. Uh, the other side is black, as you can see. Uh, the trailing edge of the wings with the lap, flaps have been lowered. Uh, the painted uh, chromat green. Also, inside the wheel wells is the painted the same. I'll give you a walk around. I gave you airplanes. That's what that Krylon gloss does, guys. That Krylon is good stuff right there. And. Uh, That gloss makes it real nice. Got the tires all painted. 
I wasn't going to go ahead and uh, buff out the seams, but I, thought, I was afraid to get rid of the seams so I may get rid of the tread detail. There, the tires are painted hot rod primer, which is a very dark gray, using black and white and silver, and uh, dry brush over the wheels to give them the uh, used look. Inside the engine cowling is painted zinc chromate green. Inside the wheel well is painted zinc chromate green. Uh, the exhaust will be uh, weathered also as well during the, the wash process. And uh, that'll be there. It's generally restaurant on our bottom side. We'll take another look see around again, another walk around. And uh, Turn around the starboard side of the fuselage. If she's looking at you right there, hit all quarter a quarter view. I'll zoom in a little more. Uh, you can see the pilots in there pretty well. Uh, the astronaut would be on their life. That's part of the transparency. They'll be done. And uh, tailwheel swivels a lot, though. That's that's it's positionable. Any way you want to do it, you can either glue it or leave, leave it free. I just leave it free. And uh, there she is, fellas. Let her dry, give her a wash. Put the transparency on the props, and she's done. We'll give you a thumbs up, we'll finish up the video. Well, there she is, fellas. There's old Puff Magic Dragon right there, so I'm going to let her dry. And uh, like I say, tomorrow I'll give her a coat of wash, add to the propellers. Have the transparency and she's done. Uh, right now I've been toying with an idea. I, I, I may just go ahead and start a, a fixer up uh, build, uh, build report on here. I have a 1985 Tester's Artillery, Artillery, uh, one quarter inch scale uh, C 130 Herky Bird that I have. And uh, it's all busted up. I got all the parts in the baggies, so I'll probably bring that up very shortly, and I'll make a video on that. It's going to be a fixer-up uh, uh, build. Maybe I might start a, a fixer-up build, uh, a build uh, group build going on here. And any fellas out there who got any models that's worth fixing up, and you don't want to throw away, get rid of, and... Uh, well, they started something like that. It's where do you fellas want to do, you know? It's, <laughs> there's so much build groups going on out there. I, I love them all. And uh, so I, I I figured maybe this would be a good idea if I could just finish up my plate by just going ahead, going down below my finished basement and bringing up my Herky Bird and uh, go ahead and, and uh, finish that up. Repair it and paint the same and everything. So I got a lot of work doing that thing. It's follows G folks. You gotta see what it looks like. Uh, I'll never do it again. That thing is a pretty heavy airplane, like that of the Monogram B-52 and also the Monogram B-29. I I had it hung up one time in the ceiling in my uh, in, the, in the other house. I had a house out there about five miles away from away from where I live at now. I I bought years ago during I got retired from the Navy and everything and. Uh, I went and bought the place and sold it, and moved out of here, and I had it hung up my ceiling. And I went in the kitchen to cook some, uh, some supper, and I heard a boom, a big old crash of earth. Yep, I know what that sounds like. Sounds like something fell off the ceiling. And folks, I just got them building that thing, pristine.